InventRight co-founder Andrew Krauss here. I really want to give you guys more tools that you can use as inventors. So here you go. This is a great tech tool when you're researching your invention. You have to see this. I just found this today. I've been using it all today. I absolutely love it. You've heard a lot from me about how Google Images is a great way to do your market research to see other products similar to yours when you're studying the marketplace. And yes, studying the marketplace is not an option. So if you're doing a new doorstop, you need to know every doorstop on the market, the benefits of those doorstops, the prices, the way they're marketing it. That's just Invention 101. And Google Images is a great tool for doing that. But today's tutorial is not about Google Images. It's about using this extra tool to go even beyond Google Images to study even more images for products in your micro category. So basically what you're wanting to do here is to know what is in the space of your invention. So maybe you might need to change it. You just need to be aware of it. You might need to do similar marketing. It's that sort of thing. So let's jump in here. So let's say we had an invention for a new doorstop. I'm gonna type in doorstop into Google, okay? And I'm gonna click on images. Okay, now I got all these images in Google Images of doorstops. Google Images is absolutely amazing. And some of you are probably like, Andrew, it was already enough. Google Images is amazing. There's so many images, it's already too much, okay? Now, but I think this tool is excellent to go even further. And so I would say that maybe a doorstop isn't a micro category. Maybe that's a little broad. You could type in magnetic doorstop or something like that, but you get the idea. It's not a tutorial on how to use Google Images. Um, this is a tutorial on how to go even further than Google Images and do image searches on other image search engines. So let's say this product right here, uh, I'm really fascinated by, I think it's relevant to my invention. So what I have done, and this is a, you need to use Firefox, to use this tool, so don't get mad at me if you don't use Firefox, download Firefox if you want to. But if you have Firefox or you're willing to download it and use it, I think it's the best browser out there personally. Um, and you could see if this a similar plugin is available for another browser. I'm not a big fan of Google Chrome. I only use it when I have to, but I guarantee you there's something similar for Google Chrome. Um, maybe I'll find one later, but I just wanted to jump on and do this one for this Firefox plugin. So it's called Image Search Options. So I'm gonna include the link in the description down below to this add-on for Firefox, completely free. Um, but if that link is no longer working, just Google it, Image Search Options add-on or extension for Firefox and you'll find it. Now, the fact that Firefox is recommending it, you can see this little recommend button here. They don't do that for many plugins. That tells me it's a good, solid plugin, okay? And from me using it today, I've found that to be the case. So I'm gonna show you how to use this plugin, okay? It's not gonna be, it's not completely obvious, but it's not difficult at all. So let's say this image right here is really relevant. What this plugin does is that when you right click on an image, it will add this image search options to the, uh, the menu. So, and it'll give you all these other image search engines. So let's say I literally never search Bing, but I guarantee you Bing has some images that Google image doesn't or these other image search engines do as well. So I'm gonna click on Bing and that's Microsoft search engine. And I'm gonna see all these images that are related to this. So you can really do a deep dive into something um, that is you believe is relevant. And a lot of these are the same product, maybe some different colors, maybe there's something else that's relevant in here. Um, there's things that are somewhat related but not that exact same product. Maybe it's linking to other places where that product is or what have you. This is incredibly relevant. Maybe there's some keywords up here that you wanna click on. I don't see these, any of these being particularly relevant for this search, but um, the images are great. So like this one right here, um, that's not that's not the same product, but it might be relevant. It looks like it's another way of locking things in. So um, I'm gonna close back out of that again, and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do that again. Let's do it with, let's do it with this one, okay? Now, it, I noticed I did it on an ad and it wasn't working. That was interesting. I was like, why isn't it working? And it was because it was on these ads, but maybe it does, but didn't work for me. So I'm gonna right click on another one. Again, you go to image search options. I'm gonna search Bing again, but we can search other search engines too. 
And I'm gonna find a whole bunch of products that are kind of like this product, but maybe not that specific product. So I just think this is a great tool to go even deeper, to make sure you know everything that's out there. And again, getting back to market research one-on-one when you're inventing and trying to license your product, your goal here is not to prove nothing like your product exists. Your goal is to know everything in the space of doorstops if you're inventing a doorstop or in the space of magnetic doorstops or security doorstops, or you can get a little bit more specific if you want to. Do I think Google Images is the titan of image searching for product research? Yes, I do. But when it gives you such easy right-click access to do a deeper dive into other search engines that Google may have missed some of these other images, I think it's a great, great tool. So again, that tool, I'll put the description it down in the description. I'll put the link to download this. Don't complain to me if you're not using um, you know, Firefox for your search engine. There's probably a plugin, probably a lot of you are using Chrome. The same one might be available for Chrome. I don't know, um, but you can look and you can find an image search tool that's in a browser that you use. I just wanted to give you the, the um, heads up that you do, can do a deeper dive and it can be very, very easy to do so. So I want to remind everybody to take care, keep inventing, and we'll catch up with you next time. There's a great idea in each of us. But it's truly magical to see it come to life. Sharing your creativity with the world has never been easier. We can help.